on our four-player map, Hurricane versus Ragnarok. Did you say Cobb Alt? Cobb Alt. Well, that would be ear. Oh. Hurricane. Sci Storm Gaming, Ragnarok. Whoa. Big support for Ragnarok here. There were people cheering for Hurricane, though. Yeah. Don't feel bad. Yeah. Don't be sad. All right. Well, we have like every symbol here. To, to There's actually... nuclear waste here. Don't do this. Yeah. Also, don't do this. Nuclear waste here. It doesn't seem like every symbol, but two symbols everywhere. I thought we might see some more. We actually had the repair symbol earlier, but I missed it. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, there, there it is. is. There it is. You can repair over here, but there's nuclear waste over there. Can you land anything there? I don't think so, right? Over here, there's an alarm going off. <laughs> don't expand here. Do not expand here. That's what that symbol means. Oh, uh -oh. you rebel. Mistakes. This is so funny. Four-player maps. <laughs> yep. I'm all for four-player maps, by the way. I think really as long as we keep it. mixing it up with maps, we're going to be in good shape. Yeah. We don't need any more maps that look like Ohana, that's for sure. Which means friendship or family. I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed the meme. You up. are on top of the oh, memes. Oh, man. Meme Lord. Yeah. Tasteless here. Now, as the game goes on here, what kind of tech are we going to have? We're gonna go into Robo, get a timing attack. Are we gonna have something uh, older, like Stargate? Oh, get a yeah. couple oracles out here. I think you gotta go Stargate. Like, yeah. No, I guess he's not. He's getting his warp gate right away, so unsure. Uh, I think that, like, the map is pretty big. The map is pretty long. It's, I, I just, I don't feel like a, a, a timing attack is as likely to work. Yeah, something like this makes sense, though. Just insta-twilight. This could be a, the DT-based Archon drop, or it could be like a, a Glaives or Charge all-in. I think both those are all right. The Overlord's but, coming in now. Let's see if it scouts that. Yeah, something like... Um, did he see it? Did he see oh it? He did, gosh, he did not. It's Damn, you know. <laughs> you know it, yeah. <laughs> Something like an Immortal Push, though. The problem I have with an Immortal Push is, like, you're making your mortals and you're walking them across this long, 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 long map. You know? Yeah. Oh, so maybe a DT-based Archon drop, then? Yeah. There we go. Now, this is... It's an older style. That doesn't mean it's bad or it's obsolete. It's just something that we've definitely seen a good amount of. I think it's actually and, pretty decent right now. No, I, yeah, I think it's perfectly fine. I think there's a reason why it's still being used here. And so you can have it where you try to spring the DTs on them um, and get some quick damage that way. But you also have the option to just go into Archons. Yeah. Uh, and you, know, you know, if you've watched GSL's past, you've heard this before. But, you know, the Archon drop is definitely something that is... A really strong way to play the game. By the way, Zealot Legs coming here as well. Hmm. Um, if you were to do an Archon drop, Archons are almost entirely shields. Warp uh, Prism pickup distance is huge, uh, and it's you know it's not the hardest thing to do to, to fly around with a Warp Prism, shave off Zerg units, and as long as you don't lose the Archons or the Warp Prism, you've lost nothing. Yeah, we've seen some real cost efficiency with that. But I think Zerg players have really adapted to this. They've gotten much better than we've seen in the past about uh, trying to hold off certain attacks, especially ones like this. But sure. um, you know, build order randomization, if you're going to go big picture, it's important that, that you know, you're not doing the same thing every time, or people will simply counter you. Mm -hmm. You've, you can experience this on the ladder when you encounter the same guy and he really only has one trick, and you, you keep oh, yeah. seeing him do the same thing, and after a couple games, you're never going to lose that guy again, because yeah. he can't mix it up. Um, it's even more pronounced in best of threes in tournament plays, especially if you're a, a prominent enough pro gamer that your games are out there and studied. So I think it's a good idea to bring a build like this, at least to start things off. 
And here come the two DTs now. Look at that, going up after the Spore immediately after a couple drone kills. Yeah, and the oh, Spore actually so goes down. So he can get a, several more drones. And the Overseer is going to come up. In fact, can he even get the Queen here? No, no probably not. not. That's too ambitious. But it's good damage. Look at this. Yeah. Between the two Adepts and these two DTs, it's a Spore kill, a few Lings, and 11 drones. Yeah, really, and, really and it, it went unpunished. So he's going to warp in a few more units here. We're going to turn this into an Archon. And this is where, okay, so the initial damage has been done. Now comes the follow-up push. Zerk's put in a position where they need to uh, rebuild e economically from their losses. If they were to keep making an army, Protoss should outpace them, especially if you have that many workers killed. So uh, this is where Protoss continues the harass, but there is going to be a push, which is an attempt to throw the Zerg off of the balancing act. Some immortals are being made here. Oh, look at that. The Zalt's actually... Uh, so you go down and engage some links. This is really cute. It's like he kind of has some zealots out there to fight in the front, but then he kind of has some warpins over yeah, here. Yeah. And it seems like really well. it's, it, it's really sp spreading the, um, the the Protoss too thin. Now, of course, oh! He does not manage to keep the uh, Archon alive. One is alive, but like barely. Go, 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 go. Um, and so the harass is, is going to end, but that was an unusual split with armies in that harass. Yeah, yeah. Now, Zerg survives it. The question now is, is Ragnarok back on his feet? Is, are there going to be other opportunities? Because I said it was going to be a follow-up push to do more damage. It's not. It's actually a third base. He's going to play much more conservatively. Well, there is definitely a follow-up push coming when yeah. you open up with the Just not on two bases. Archon drop. Yeah. A lot of times, I think what the, the strongest follow-up is, is to make a lot of Immortals, Archons, charge lots, and your third base, and then just move out again. Yeah and just like keep pressure on your opponent because this is a build where it's a little bit harder to get into Psy Storm cleanly. So keeping the pressure on your opponent is, right. is good. And a lot of that's because it was a DT tech to get the Archons out. Yeah. You yeah. already kind of have the, the Archon tech. tech and to spend even more gas to get the High yeah. Templar tech. The, the, the kinda... DT tech is kind of a quick shortcut to get Archons. Yeah, it is. Uh, where you're, you're, you're getting something early on, which is like kind of cheaper. Archons, but you're also giving up late game tech, which is DTs. And so, in, in this case, the follow up push is the most sensible one. So, it's going to be three bases. I thought it was going to be two for some reason. But well, it's he's mostly, a, yeah. I mean, it's mostly a placeholder nexus. It's not fully saturated yeah, yeah. or anything. It's, it's like you're taking it not yeah. not, not for like, like, oh, well, now I'm exactly keep playing. Safe expand. You just. This is definitely not all in. Like, well, might turn a, lot, a lot of games are won when you did so much damage, but they barely survived. But you did so much damage with your third base, you just kind of take a lead from there. Yeah, yeah. Some very good force fields going down. He actually clears quite a few roaches there. We saw him lose an Archon, take a couple vials here, losing some of his sentries. A couple wow, vials actually, actually end up connecting. Landing right on the Immortals, but I think this is too much damage. We're starting to see too many Archons, too many Immortals, and not enough anything Zerg here. He can actually edge his way into the third base. Uh, can he actually snipe down the uh, War Prism? Here we go! Wow! Oh, wow! He had oh, to come in balls. so hard because it and was a beautiful warp, warp right location. there. GG Hurricane My takes God. game one. Crazy! It was a great. I didn't even realize for a second there. Uh, he had to get so close because it was over the smoke, so he just could not see it. Oh, I didn't notice that. Good call. Yeah. So he actually super committed to kill it. Didn't get it, and that's GG. Look at that uh, face on Ragnarok. That's a. Uh, yeah, it's a frustrating one mm -hmm. uh, to just die to the follow-up push. Um, yeah. I mean, it, 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 Hurricane played it very, very well. It seems like uh, if you just do straight Immortal pushes, Ragnarok has your number a bit, but some of these harassment into it, that does a little bit more to uh, conceal exactly when you're moving out exactly the strength of your army. It's having a bit of a harder time there. We're going to go to New Repugnancy for game number two. Now, Hurricane opened up with a, a little bit of an older style. Obviously, it's still viable. Uh, DT drop, killed about 11 drones. I think it was exactly 11, actually. And then uh, went into Archon Harass. It wasn't the best Archon Harass, but it also didn't matter that much because already that initial attack had done so much. Then he wins with a push. Let's see what he does in game number two. Ragnarok showing very solid late game style. If he can get to that late game, he might be a real threat to Hurricane. Hurricane. 
Psystorm Gaming, Ragnarok. Cool. So the probes blocked the second hatchery, so the second hatch goes to where the third hatch normally is. Um, common way to just sort of take some control early on. It's very annoying game. for Zerg. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's going to be some kind of attack to pair with this. I know that adepts early on were exploited for situations like this where your creep's not quite defended, but I feel like Zerg's especially in 2019, uh, are, are pretty, are much better at handling adepts. Mm -hmm. The adept was sort of this unit that was great for comedy in RTS when it first came out, because there was no unit that moved like that in RTS. <laughs> yeah, it it's was like, very novel. On both sides, players were struggling with it. You'd see some players shade their adepts into corners and they get stuck and killed, and then other times Zerg couldn't split correctly, so mm -hmm. there was this whole learning process for all the pros involved of trying to kind of get a handle on it, but also the Adept was stronger. Zerg, I mean, I'm sorry, Zerg. Blizzard patched it um, after a while. but Yeah, it got a few nerfs. Yeah, because it was actually... It was pretty crazy. It was pretty hilarious. They were just making it and killing people. I remember casting a game of... Uh, the one game I thought someone was going to survive in an Adept harass, and it was Maro, and he was playing like the game of his life, holding these Adepts everywhere, and I said, okay, he did it. It's done. We're going to go into mid-game. And then, like, 50 adepts shade up. <laughs> As I'm saying it, I start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm like, okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Remember that. Um, but yeah, it's a different time now. Uh, there is a robo being made, though, so that should telegraph some kind of a timing attack here. Yeah, it looks like just straight up an immortal push should be mm -hmm. coming. Oh, extra lings being made. I was wondering, like, what are yeah, the Korean commentators are going about? nuts? And I'm like, yeah, I see the robo. But I'm like, yeah, he's chasing the probe with the lings. It's cool. <laughs> oh, he okay. can't quite get in. Good try. Good job. He needs to get this wall in, though. Speed lings are a real threat. A lot of Speed lings. Speed lings are also, uh, you know, uncommon at this level of play to try to just yeah. go for it. But, you so know, true. if the wall in's not up, there's a reason why you see Protoss wall in early, guys, is they're actually pretty... Pretty frail early on, and if, if they're not here to defend, that gate's going to go up in like a second. Though. He needs to. Okay, hold. <laughs> he can bust the gate though. He has enough links. Yeah, it, it, it hasn't gained enough HP in the warp right. in. Those six links, I'm not sure if those are enough. But okay, so this is a funny little timing attack. Yeah, this is a designed. Oh my God, he did it! How funny! Well, it yeah. seems like he wanted to let him in. Oh what? Probes are actually doing quite a good job blocking here. You know what? I think that this was a very clutch helped. call from her. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you, you, you are, you are totally correct in, in your analysis there, Tosis. He wanted to let that in because that way the, the lings get wedged over there, and then he could fill it with a battery. Oh my wow. God, Hurricane is so good. That was you know, really when you win well like done. this on the ladder, this is like the ultimate moment where you go, "Yeah, I'm just better than you." Yeah. Get out. What league are you in? But oh, the rush was... isn't done yet. More lings are coming. Yeah, can he's... we have? Can, you know, how good of a Tetris player is? Hurricane here. How much can he block off with this? Because Lings are not going to stop coming here. Force oh, field then. Oh, 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 Force field is sick. so clutch. He's so good. He's so good. This is a great hold. Now drones are being made, so that's when you know this yep. is really getting hard. Oh, another one. Look at the, the force field he this traps time. Traps him. Damn. 